Hey guys, it's Jeff Jones from TheBoxman.com where we've changed the way you should watch TV. And in this video, we're going to take a look at the Formula Z11 Pro Max. More importantly, how to set up your first watch list on this great device. So let's get Hey, I'm back. Happy Saturday, everyone. As we're going into the month of September, I believe it's September. Either way it goes, it's getting closer and closer to the end of the year. The Formula Z11 Pro Max came on the scene almost uh, eight months ago, I think, and it is taking it by storm. A lot of people don't know about the manufacturer formula and what they can do as far as the quality of devices that they made. Now, the Formula Z11 Pro Max has all the specs you're looking for. One of the benefits is that it allows you to set up watch lists. In other words, you can set up the programming that you either want to record or watch in order. And it'll even remind you when that show is coming up. So what I'm going to do is go through this fairly quickly so we can see how this can work all together. And maybe if you want one, we sell these. If you're interested, we have some of the best pricings, uh, prices, I should say, on the internet. We also give, uh, you know, support services and, and whatnot. Now, these units are absolutely fabulous and that's another day so let's get right into how to set up your first watch list on the formula z11 pro all right now i'm in my formula z11 pro max and i'm in the electronic programming guide if you look at the very bottom of the guide you're going to see a group of just some information you're going to see uh something that says a button that, that controls the groups you're going to see the channel category down here, uh, the record button, which is on your remote. And then we're going to look at the, the green button, which it says add to watch list. Now, you, you can't add a current show that I'm watching right now to the watch list. But if I move this forward, let's say I want to move it. It's about 207. Let me see if I can find something a little bit closer. Uh, that's 2.30. Let's see if I can find something. It looks like it's all 2.30 and all that. So um, let me go up. So basically what you would have to do is you would move to a future uh, uh, program. And in the future program, if you press the green button, now you'll see like a bookmark in that space. That means you have set this to watch list. If I click on this, now I can set the recording to happen. I can set a reminder. If I set the reminder, the event there, and then this 30 minute duration, the start time, the end time, it will let me know before, the reminder will let me know before that happens, okay? Uh, it'll set me a reminder if I needed to. Um, and then also, if I just wanted to remove it from the watch list, I can do that. And then, you know, so let's go ahead and I'm going to set the reminder and I'm going to save it. Okay. It says simultaneously watching another live channel while re a recording is in progress may cause the recording to be interrupted. That's okay. So we know right now that I have set a recording right there if I needed to. So if I wanted to go back and just delete the remove from watch list, I can do that. Now it's done from the watch list there. And so you'll see that the recording is still at the top there. So if I hold that down, then if I wanted to set the recording, I can do that or I can just cancel either way it goes. Now, another good thing that you can do is now when the recording gets closer or the, the show gets closer, it will remind you number one of the recording, number two, if you want to continue. If you don't acknowledge you know, the reminder, it's going to go ahead and record because it gives you a chance to, you know, um, either reject it, change your mind, whatever it might be. But it's really, really that easy to do. And it's always about the electronic programming guide. So let's say I move forward on another one to like 430 here, uh, right here. And let's say I wanted to do this one. I'll hit this on the watch list as well. I'll press OK. And now I have two set there. 
as a reminder. So these things are very easy, easy to manage. Um, they give you full control to do that. And I just think it's a really great thing to have because you can always control and monitor uh, what you want to watch. And it's really, really powerful. So with that said, that's how you set up your own watch list. And it's going to be like 30 minutes from now. So um, I, would, uh, I was going to go ahead and do that and make sure uh, that it was going to record um, like it said it was going to do and give me the message. Um, but we're going to be going out here pretty soon. I just wanted to make this really easy video on how to set up a watch list on your Formula Z 11 Pro Max. And that brings us to the end of the video there. Now, as I land on the Formula Z 11 Pro Max, in the next video, I'm going to take a look at the pros, the cons, and eight months later, how my TV online has really, really, really uh, uh, changed and really set the standard for viewing uh, streaming media. Uh, these units are absolutely faster than any uh, other device on the market. Uh, so much so that there's a Chinese manufacturer that has copied one of the formula devices to the T. Uh, I guess when you're at the top of the charts there, most people want to see. So look forward to the look. I'm looking forward to the next set of videos that will go exclusively into my TV online three and some of the benefits that it brings to the streaming community eight months later. Hey, go ahead. I really appreciate you giving me a thumbs up. Uh, let me know if the, it was easy for you to duplicate and set up your first watch list. And there'll be a, uh, just a, take a look at this really short video going over what we call a one and done device that is very easy for someone that is new to streaming. We look forward to talking with you soon. Have a great uh, afternoon and a great weekend. Hey guys, really quick before I close out each and every video until the end of the year, uh, I'm going to preview a few of our best devices. Now, this new My Air TV2 media device is what we call a one and done device. Uh, the manufacturer sent us about 20 of them and they have been an absolute success. So I want to go over some of the things that are in this device, the specifications and things of that nature and even the price. So give yourself a chance to at least get that video. If you need a, uh, a deeper dive video, uh, you can follow some instructions to get that texted to you. And this can make a great Christmas gift for yourself or someone you love. So My Air TV 2, the operation system is an Android 11. It features uh, up to 4K, so it has 4K capability. The processor core is a dual core processor SO95W2. The support resolution again is 4K. Now the Ethernet is 1 times 10 uh, by 100 megabits per second. So even if you have high speed, you will only get up to 100 megabits per second here. Now the Wi-Fi is great. Uh, in other words, it can connect to 2.4 gig or 5 gigahertz. So it connects uh, to both channels there. So this is what the box looks like. Very clean. Um, in the next, we do have a voice remote as well because it uses Google Assistant. Now in the next slide, you receive five years of live television, includes live sports, the regionals, 60 months. Now, some people are like, well, what happens if it goes down? You know, we could, it's not going to go down. China recognizes that streaming changes. So as long as you own this unit, it will always, you'll never have a subscription. Uh, you have also, their second favorite option is My Family Cinema for on-demand content that's on the device. From us, you'll receive instructional, set, instructional setup videos, customer support, tech support. It's just $233, normally $275. Now, if you're looking for a full video review, you can either scan this QR code right here or click the link in any description of a video, whether it's on Rumble, YouTube, whatever it might be, you can definitely do that. It's going to take you to a place where you can give uh, your name and your telephone number and uh, the video link will be texted to you. So go ahead and scan this QR code or click the video link or yeah, click the link in the description of the video and check out this great box. We'll talk to you soon. Take care.